Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I got on Instagram not that long ago and I asked you guys what type of videos you wanted me to create. This was the number one most requested video. So for today's video, we're gonna be deep diving into all of my content creating essentials. All of the products that I'm about to talk about, I 100% stand behind. I absolutely love them. I have purchased so many products that I do not use. So these are hands down all of the ones that I use on a daily basis that make my life a little bit easier when creating content for you guys. We're also gonna go over very quickly how to edit my videos and all the apps that I use to edit my photos as well. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into the video, our first and most important thing that you need to start video content creating, you're probably holding it right now. And that I'm talking about is a camera. And the reason why I say you're probably holding it right now is because if you own a phone that has a camera, you're good to go. You are set to start content creating. Now I hear I'm holding the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Do I think this one is absolutely necessary? No, I started with my iPhone 10, I think at the time, and it worked just as fine. The quality on cameras nowadays are amazing. So whatever phone you have, make use out of it. You already made the investment into purchasing that product, so why not make the best use out of your investment, right? Now, of course, throughout the years, I have upgraded a lot of my stuff, and what you're watching me here record now is actually an actual camera. This one is a Sony a6400, amazing quality. I absolutely love it. Now, we do have a Sigma 16 millimeter lens on it, so if you guys are interested in making more of an investment and are able to do that, definitely recommend that camera I use it for all of my intros and stuff where I'm recording here at the house it's just such good quality I definitely really like it and I 100% recommend that all the products will be linked down below if you guys are interested in purchasing any of them I'll make it a little bit easier and just link them down for you guys but as far as camera goes you don't need to go out and buy one your phone is going to be your best bet now, another item that I think it is absolutely necessary that you invest in is going to be a tripod. Now, do not think that I didn't start from the bottom. I literally used to use a paper towel <laughs> roll and I would sit it on my desk and I would like somehow put my camera on there, my phone. And that's how I started creating content for you guys. Believe it or not, it was a terrible angle, but I started because that was all I had at the time. And if I didn't start then, I probably wouldn't have started ever. Now, of course, invest in a really good quality one, whether if it's on Amazon, off whatever website that you like to purchase things off of. My favorite and absolutely most amazing one that I have used and I've tried a lot is going to be this Archon Mount. I absolutely love it. They focus on quality and durability when it comes to their products. I'm not even kidding. I got one a very long time ago and now I have added this one to my collection. They are both the exact same thing, but I'm able to create content out of the comfort of my home without worrying about bringing the one that I have at the salon. So I have one at the salon, one here, and I absolutely love them. So each of these little knuckles, you're able to move very easily. You just gotta untighten them, move them. I'm not gonna do it right now because this is the perfect angle that I like to use when it comes to recording videos. You're also able to move this if you just loosen it up. You're able to move this up or move it down, just depending if you want it higher, lower. Like I said, each of these move. This also moves as well, um, but I like to keep it in the exact same position so that I know that it's at a good angle. This is nice and sturdy and I just set it on my desk, put my phone right here and I start recording. They also offer the clamp version. So if you prefer that method on your desk, by all means, I like this because if at any point I need to move it during the service or me recording the video, I just slide it over, slide it to wherever I need to get the better angle. And it's so much easier than having to move every single component of the product 
to get the good angle. So I love it. I absolutely adore it. I will leave that link down below and I will have a discount code for you guys. So that is one of the most important things that you need to add. And I 100% recommend that one. Now, when it comes to just other tripods in general, I absolutely love this one. It is amazing for traveling. So this is a cute little tripod. I actually took it with me on my trip recently and I 100% adore it so you just press open this little area and the legs will come apart and now you're able to easily just pull that up and this goes up to i think six feet they do have an eight foot option i just don't really need that tall of a tripod so you're able to use it as like a selfie stick i used it when i was vlogging but i also just uh, set it up on the side put my phone on there and i recorded so it's a really good alternative when it comes to like watch me work videos or if you're vlogging you working this is amazing so i do like that um, i can take it wherever i need it also comes with a little remote so if you're wanting to take pictures i started using it for my thumbnails as well it's just very very simple to use you pop it open set it up get your good angle and you're able to click away and take the perfect photos for your thumbnails now when it comes to lighting I think 100% that is one of the things that you should invest in you can have the bombest camera setup you can have the bombest work but if you do not have good lighting, it's not going to transmit that on your camera. So of course you have the option of purchasing just a regular ring light and I have these at my house too. However, do I think you should invest in a better quality light? 100%. So the light that I gravitate towards and I always, always, always recommend to anyone that creates content is going to be the Daylight Slimline 3. I absolutely adore it. The quality is amazing. You're able to easily just move it into the angle that you want it. If you need to adjust it, you can go ahead and do so. They are dimmable as well, which I absolutely love. If it's a little too bright, you just go ahead and dim it one or two, whatever you think is perfect. They have the option of getting a really tall stand-up light, which I actually have and I'm using it right now, along with just the clamp one that I actually have at all the stations in my salon. I absolutely love them. They provide really good quality lighting for pictures and filming. So definitely invest in good, good lighting. When it comes to your work area, I always, always, always recommend a very clean and sleek area you don't want anything too sparkly anything too distracting of your video that you're trying to record so i always suggest grab paper towels i like to use viva paper towels if you guys have been wondering on my channel and i get the ones that are like the pick a size so this is one paper towel this is another one so i have three right here we're gonna fold these in half just like that and now I like to use this as my work area. I just put it on my table and you're good to go. It's nice, clean, sleek looking. You're able to clean up any messes if you need. It's just nice and white. And it also has very minimal lint that comes off of it. So I really, really like that. Now I did want to give a quick shout out to whoever asked me about how to prevent messing up your furniture because she had been messing up lots of her furniture with monomer and just acetone and stuff like that. Thank you because you reminded me of this product that I completely forgot that I used to recommend all the time. Not only that, but I have it right here in front of me and I have it as a protecting layer for my workspace. So I was kind of confused at the fact that I completely forgot about it. So what I'm talking about is a silicone mat. These come in various different sizes. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them, but I have this massive big one. So it covers all of my workspace. Not only that, but it's nice and matte. So it's not going to create any type of shiny sheen on the workspace area. I actually have it over my glass top because the glass obviously is shiny. So I use it as a protective layer for that. And if I create any spills, it's not going to mess up my furniture. You're able to clean up the mess very easily. And I love the color of it. It's just nice and simple and clean. So if I wanted to start recording right now on my table, I can easily do that. So I 100% think that this is one of those things that 
is like a no-brainer just go ahead and purchase that and it will save all of your furniture for sure now in this next portion of the video we're gonna be covering how I edit my videos I'm not gonna go super super in-depth with it I'm just gonna kind of show you guys the basics of it because I feel like it is very very easy to learn once you get into it so I'm going to actually start screen recording my phone so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and then we'll put that on here so you get the whole idea and glimpse of how I edit a video so we're gonna start off by if you have an iPhone 100% recommend iMovie if you have a different phone I'm not quite sure if they offer editing softwares on your phone but if you don't uh, go ahead and look on the app store and kind of see what options you have and use one of those but I'm gonna be going over iMovie because that's what I know and that's what I record so I'm just gonna scroll and grab one of these videos this is actually one that I just did for my client so I'm actually going to go in and show you guys all of the process of it so first First, I start off by eliminating all of the audio that is on the original video that I'm editing. So I'm going to click the entire video and click detach. And then we're going to just click delete. So that deletes all of the audio. Now any conversation that me and her had are no longer on there. And then if you feel like you need to speed it up, you go down. So you basically select the video, click down here, any of the options, but we're gonna do the little timer and I'm going to speed it up. You can do it a uh, quarter, half, three quarters, or two times the speed. We're just gonna do two times just for the purpose of it. And then I just quickly go in and kind of scroll and see where I start. So I'm basically going back and forth like this until I see where I'm working. A lot of the time I kind of just sit there and gather my thoughts <laughs> and then I start actually working so now that I see that I'm working I'm gonna keep scrolling 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 until there's a portion where I'm not working say I want to cut this out I'm gonna go in select the video once again that pops up your little menu down below I'm gonna click split and then say I'm going to want to cut all of this out I'm just gonna scroll until I'm done wanting to cut it out and I'm gonna click again, split again, and then I'm gonna select the video that I wanna delete, and you just click delete. And I basically do that over and over again until I am content with all the cuts that I made. A lot of the time, sometimes I'll sit there and like try to grab another product or try to do certain things while I'm actually working. So all of that footage gets deleted because that's not necessary. And then when it comes to being done, say I'm done editing the video, I'm going to go and hit the little plus and we're gonna do our voiceover. So I do all my cuts in, in iMovie and I do my voiceover in iMovie as well. And for that, I am going to start and it actually shows you on here. Um, you're able to start recording. I'm gonna click record really quick. Gives you a little timer. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna blah, 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 blah. Then I stop it. I put accept or retake if you're not happy with it or cancel, you could just start all over. So I'm gonna say accept, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it's inserted in there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna blah, 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 blah. All right, so we get the gist of it. And if you didn't like it, you can go ahead and just delete it, and you simply delete it by selecting the audio, and then click delete, now it's gone. So it's very, very simple, super, super easy to use. If I learn how to use it, promise you, you can too. Now that kind of leads me into another thing that is very, very important when it comes to your content creating videos and all that good stuff. So 100% important to focus on your audio. I never thought that was necessary. I was always like, what I got is good, it's working, we're totally fine. So my husband was actually the one that suggested that we invested in a microphone. They are pretty expensive, but I now, with the knowledge that I have, I can 100% say that that is an amazing investment. So the microphone that I 100% recommend and the one that I'm using here is called the Rode Video Mic NTG. Again, that will be linked down below if you guys are interested in that, but I 100% think that audio now is crucial. And if you don't have good audio, you might not be able to retain your audience as best as you can. Now, when it comes to editing photos, I'm gonna go over all of the apps that I absolutely love to use and the ones that I always recommend to use 
use if you're getting into whether it's just posting on Instagram or making thumbnails. So again, we're going to screen record. I'm going to scroll over. And the first one that I absolutely adore is Airbrush. If you are not familiar with this, it is amazing. I'm going to go in and pick one of my nail photos very quickly. For example, we have here the Minion one. And now the photo, while it is pretty good, I'm going to just simply brighten up the parts where I did the nail art. And I'm going to zoom in and you're going to go where it says retouch, scroll over to the brighten. And I'm just going to swipe over all of the nails. What this is going to do is kind of just bring it all to life very, very minimally. And I'll show you the difference. So that's with it. That's without, with, out, with it. So it kind of just deepens up the blacks and it brightens up all the colors very, very minimally. I just do this once. And then another thing that I always recommend, a lot of people are against it, but I think it's necessary. My cuticles sometimes are crusty. So we're gonna go in with, again, same where it says retouch. You're gonna click smooth and it brings up this little, kind of tool and all you're going to do is just wipe it over and again it just semi sort of blurs it out the slightest amount and that is all that is all that I do now if you want to go a little bit more in depth and remove say this little cut that I have right here on my middle finger we're going to be still in that retouch portion click acne and it brings up this little like tool and you just simply click and you remove that and now you have a picture that's a little bit more alive the cuticles are nice and softened so it doesn't look crazily crusty and you can easily remove any little uh, cuts or anything like that obviously don't cut your client that one was all my fault so as far as editing the photo, that is it. You are able to also cut it. I'm going to go over to the tools portion and I'm gonna click crop. And you're able to click your dimensions or just free crop um, using the custom. So I'm able to just move it around. But if I'm gonna do an Instagram post, you just do the one by one. And then I kind of crop it in a little bit more to get the perfect kind of zoomed in photo. So that's pretty much it. And then I just save it. Now you have your photo. Now say we um, are going to add a watermark. This I 100% recommend to anyone creating content. Watermark your photos, even if it's like in the slightest, most minimal area. We're gonna go over to, it's called Fonto. And you can honestly probably do it in airbrush but I've got it into using this one and that's pretty much what I use all the time so we're gonna select our photo I'm not gonna crop it I'm not adding any filters to it so I'm just gonna click done up top and here I'm gonna select I'm just gonna tap on the screen like this I'm gonna it's going to pop up the little add text I'm gonna click add text and here I'm going to put V underscore nailed it which is my handle I'm going to put done and I'm going to move it. Every time you grab it with your finger, it's going to take off the little options. But once you let it go, it brings back the options. And what I like to do is kind of tilt to that. So I just hit, click the minus and I just move it until I'm happy with it. You can also move it by clicking move. It brings up this little screen and you kind of just tap whatever way you want it to move. And then again, I'll probably tilt it a little bit. And that's pretty much it. You go ahead and save your photo. And you're good to go. So that's pretty much all I do for my Instagram post. Now for my thumbnails, there's tons of different options when it comes to apps to use to edit them. I like to use my tablet, but if you don't have your tablet, I'm gonna show you the process on your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen record once again. For this, I love to use PixArt. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. We're gonna go to my photos and just pick a nail photo that I can use. Here, I'm gonna pull this one up. And what I like to do is crop it immediately into the YouTube thumbnail. 
so I just scroll all the way and that pops up the YouTube dimensions for the thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom it in. I'm gonna press apply and we're gonna add some text. Uh, I'm gonna put monochrome flowers. We'll just say that. I'm gonna put the little check mark. You can add different fonts to it. Bunya is my favorite go-to. And then you kind of just adjust it wherever you want. You can add more words to it. Um, you can use different types of stickers on there. For example, if I wanted to add a little sticker, I click sticker. Let's put black flower and see what pops up. And I can absolutely add these to there. Obviously you can't see it, but there it pops up. So if my background would have been um, white, it would have showed up. Let's do white flower. And you kind of get the idea. You can add that on there if you wanted to. You can add another photo to it. So we're just gonna pretend like I want that right there. So many different options. It's just a matter of kind of messing around. I can do a collage when it comes to my thumbnails. I do them on here as well. But that's pretty much my go-to editing app when it comes to my thumbnails. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys have any further questions down below. I tried to cover as much as I could think of. So if I missed anything, by all means, questions down below in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer those for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton. Make sure to check the description box for all of the products that I mentioned and I will see you guys next time. So the one that we use is a Rode, what the f is it called?